Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to edit a level.dat file to enable cheats on a pre-existing world in Minecraft Java. Now I know there's a much easier way to do this. If you're already playing Minecraft, all you have to do is hit escape, hit open to LAN, turn on your cheats, and then technically open a server. Now what I'm going to show you today is the permanent way to change your world file. Okay, first thing you'll need to do is download a program that can read that type of file. I did a quick Google search and I ended up with NBT Explorer. Secondly, you're going to need to locate your save files for your Minecraft worlds. If you are on vanilla Minecraft or using any sort of mod or downloaded manually, then your saves will be located in your main Minecraft directory. The easiest way to get there is to Windows key R to run. You're going to type in percent app data percent and hit OK. This will then pull up all of your folders. This is your main Minecraft directory. It is not down here in the M's. They have a period in front of it because they have to be special. You're going to double click. You're going to double click saves and you should find all of your saves located right here. Now in my case, the world I'm trying to edit is a downloaded mod that I have over here on CurseForge. I have all of my mods loaded through CurseForge. So all of these files are deep in the CurseForge files. It took me a minute to find them, but I did. They're located on your C drive in Users, Your Profile, and then CurseForge. Minecraft, Instances, here's my scary one block CurseForge profile double click that it looks just like the main Minecraft directory gonna hit saves and here is the one block reborn world you can see I am using a later version of it because these other mods that I've got are not compatible gonna double click here in this folder is your level.dat file because we've already downloaded that program it should be no problem you should be able to double click to open it going to pull this box up. You've got three lines right here next to data. You're going to see a plus sign and you're going to hit that. Going to come down here to allow commands. Yours should be set to zero. You're going to double click. You're going to change that value to one. You can see I've already done that for this world. You're going to hit OK. You're going to hit save and exit. It's that simple everyone. If you liked this video, you should like let me know and leave me a comment or actually like hit the button with the little thumb and subscribe. 